Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we are going to order numbers up to 50 and we are not going to use a number grid. We are simply going to use the units and the tens to work it out. So let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we've got these three numbers. We've got 36, 25 and 45. So those are our three numbers. And the question is, can you place them in order from the smallest number to the largest number? Right, first things first, let's draw out our boxes. We've got three numbers, so we've got three boxes to fill in. And you'll see this very commonly in workbooks and when you take exams. So we've got the smallest going to the largest. Now let's have a look at our three numbers. We've got 36, 25 and 45. Now the quickest way to do this is first to concentrate on the digit to the left of each of the numbers. That means this one here, the 3 the 2 over here and the 4 over here. All of these are tens. So we're not looking at the units, we are simply looking at the tens to begin with. How many tens are there in the first number? There are 3. How many tens are there in the second number? There are 2. And how many tens are there in the last number? There are 4. Now notice each of these numbers, the 3, 2, 4, all three numbers are different and that means we can answer the question just by looking at the tens we don't even have to worry about the units so what we're going to do is we're now going to place these tens in order we're going to start from zero and count upwards because we're looking at the smallest we're trying to find the smallest number first now you can do this in your head but I'm just going to write it down to illustrate this. So we start from 0, let's count up with 0, 1, 2. Well, we've got 2, 2 is over here. So that is our first number. The number is 25. Let's write that down. That is the smallest number out of the 3, 25. So we got to 2, let's carry on counting. After 2 comes 3. Well, there it is, we've got 3 as well. And what number do we write down? It's this one here, 36. So from the tens we've worked out that the next number is 36. That leaves the last digit, which is 4. And the number there is 45. So the question was, can you order the numbers into the smallest, from the smallest to the largest? We had 36. 25 and 45 all we did is look at the tens and from that we worked out that the smallest number was 25 the next one was 36 and the largest was 45 how easy was that that was very easy okay now let's look at our second example this time let's suppose we've got the numbers 34 46 and 38. So we've got these three numbers this time 34, 46, 38. And this time the question is let's just draw the boxes first. We are going to rearrange the numbers from the largest to the smallest. So largest to the smallest. So let's have a look at our three numbers 34, 46, 38. Now using the same method what we're going to do is we're going to look at the digit on the left. Let's just label it to begin with. We've got the tens, tens, tens. So how many tens are there in the first number? Well there are three tens. 
How many are there in the second number? There are four tens. How many are there in the last number? There are three. Now, what do you notice about the tens of each of the numbers? Well, two of them are the same, the three and the three. Here, these two are exactly the same. Four is different. Four is on its own, and we'll come to that in a moment. Now, of these numbers, the three and the four, which is a smaller number? Three or the four? Which one is smaller? Well, that's right, the answer is three. Which one is larger? It is four. So this four is larger than this number, the three, and is also larger than this number. So this becomes the largest number, the 46. So we can write that one in straight away. 46 is the largest number. It's got four tens. The other two numbers have got three tens each. So we've got the largest number. Which number comes next? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down to get a bit of space. So this one is done. We are now going to work through just two numbers remaining. We've got 34 here and 38. Remember, 46 we've already done. Now, when we were doing this, the tens of both numbers are the same. So the tens, we could not work out which is the larger number just simply looking at the tens. So we have to look at the units. And here we've got four units, and this one we've got eight units. So we've got four units against eight units. Which is the larger number? Well, you know this, but let's just work through it anyway. So we start at 10 because we're trying to find the largest number, and we count backwards. 10, count with me, 9, 8. So we've got 8. There it is. So therefore, this number comes next. It is 38. And that leaves the last number, 34. So that is, what, what we have done here is, we have rearranged these three numbers and we have written them from the largest to the smallest. Now in both examples, let's just scroll back up again, in both examples, the key thing is first to look at the digit on the left. In this scenario, it was the tens. As in our first example, we worked out each of the three boxes just by looking at the tens. That's not always possible. In the second question, we looked at the tens, we managed to find the first box, but the next two we couldn't. We had to look at the units. So the strategy is look at the tens first, followed by, and if you cannot order the numbers, then look at the units.